For what purpose does a gentleman from Vermont seek recognition? Uh, to address the House for one minute and revise and extend. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, the Postal Service is a mess. Today, we're about to take up a reform proposal that is long overdue. Mail delivery in rural Vermont is critical for all our rural communities, for our seniors who rely on getting their checks and getting their prescriptions, and for Vermont businesses and local papers that provide news in our country stores. It's really crucial. Mismanagement, underfunding, labor shortages have really created a crisis. Last January, my office received eight complaints. This January, it was 69 complaints. And some Vermonters are going over a week without getting any mail delivery. Our folks are going paycheck to paycheck and not getting their paycheck. This bill will finally get the United States Postal Service on track for our rural communities and all Americans. It's overdue, and that's why I hope all of us will support passage today. I yield back. Thank you all for coming. Uh, we'll try to uh, speak up so that we can uh, talk over whatever traffic noise uh, is behind us. I want to thank uh, you for coming, but I want to thank Mayor Lott also. So good to have you here. And with me. Air traffic, too. Is Scott Lassell, National Postal Mail Handers, Handers Union, Jane Draper of the United Postmasters of America. Uh, Max Harris of Gardner Supply, representing our businesses that are so dependent on mail delivery, and Mer uh, Meredith Bay Tayak, director of downtown Winooski. Uh, this week, on a bipartisan basis, the House of Representatives passed the most significant postal reform bill in recent history, in two decades. It's the Postal Service Reform Act, and it will significantly help the United States Postal Service address persistent financial problems. Among those problems has been the pre-funding requirement for 75 years of health benefits and retirement benefits. No other enterprise, public or private, has such a burden placed on them that exceeds what is necessary for the secure funding of retirement and health care benefits. And by finally changing that, it's going to alleviate the uh, financial burden of roughly $27 billion over 10 years. Uh, that's going to help. Other things, though, that are important is Medicare in integration. Uh, a lot of folks who work in the Postal Service pay into Medicare all the time they work, yet they are not on Medicare, they're on the uh, other health care when they get out. So they're paying for Medicare but not really getting it. And now we're going to integrate it, which will also reduce uh, about $22 billion in burden on the Postal Service. And our hope is that what money we save on unnecessary expenses can be put back into better service, better pay for our postal workers, better equipment and machines. We're also including in that a service transparency performance uh, 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 metric. And it would require the Postal Service to develop uh, something that's easy to use for the public to find out what's going on with their mail. It's been incredibly frustrating recently for businesses and for individuals. Uh, it, it, we're going to maintain uh, the six-day uh, delivery that includes packages as well as mail. You know, it's been a real problem uh, in Vermont and around the country with mail. We have been getting complaints uh, that have escalated significantly uh, in, 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 uh, uh, in frequency. I'll just give a couple of examples. In, since July tw uh, 2021, our office received 141 postal complaints. In the past month, we in the past month, we received 69 complaints compared to eight complaints in the year before. So it's really boosting. And what we're hearing from people is that they're not getting their prescription drugs provided on time. They're not getting their checks, which they absolutely need to pay their bills. 
And then we're also hearing from many of our retailers, we're going to hear from Gardner Supply, that their business totally and completely depends on an effective, efficient mail service. Uh, and their business provides uh, Vermonters with many, many good jobs. So this issue of postal service reform is absolutely essential. The postal service has been with us in this country since literally before the Constitution. That's how old it is. It was founded by Benjamin Franklin. And it has had to go through all types of changes uh, from the Pony Express uh, and then Telegraph changing the business model and obviously now with electronic transmission of emails uh, replacing much of first class. But the mission of the Postal Service throughout our history has been the same, to get mail delivered to individuals and for businesses to the people of this state and of this country. So it's really good news that finally, uh, after many years of work, uh, the House of Representatives, on a bipartisan basis, has passed this Postal Reform Act. Uh, and let's hope it translates pretty soon into better service and delivery for our citizens. So now I want to turn this over to Scott Lassell, the National Postal Mail Handlers, uh, Handlers Union. Scott, come on up. It's good to Thank see you. you. Through rain, snow, <laughs> whatever it is. You guys work hard. Thank you so much. Well, I don't know how you do it. We want to thank you, too. I, I want to thank the, the congressman for helping put through the bill in the House. And now it has to go through the Senate. Now, all the Vermont representatives in Washington, D.C. have always been very strong supporters of the Postal Service. And I want to thank all of them. I would also like to briefly touch if I may, on the, uh, the status of the Postal Service in the state of Vermont. One of the biggest problems we're facing right now is, is the lack of employees. We are short in mail handlers and clerks and in carriers across the whole state, and we need people to apply and work for the Postal Service to keep up the, uh, the rate of delivery, the on-time delivery, and the service that everyone's been expected throughout the years. So. I want to thank you and thank the congressman once again. Thank, thank you, Scott. And now Jane Draper, United Postmasters of America. Jane, thank you. Hi. And by the way, delivering the mail, it is hard. I don't know if you've seen the weather lately, but it's been cold. And yeah. No matter what it is, you've got to get out there, right? We thank do. You. We do. <laughs> thank you, Congressman Welch. We'd like to thank you on behalf of the United Postmasters and Managers of America for getting this bill passed. The United States Postal Service is an intricate part of what binds our country together. And with the national worldwide pandemic, it has truly shown how needed our service is. And our employees stepped up, went above and beyond to succeed as much as we have. So again, I'd like to thank Peter and his staff and all the congressionals for passing this bill. Thank you, thank you. Jane. And of course, it's been in the House, and I serve on the Oversight Committee, but we're looking uh, to the continued leadership of Senator Leahy and Senator Sanders, uh, who are true champions of the Postal Service. And now, by the way, we've got our Postmaster here, and we can't, we get, he's on the down low, you know, we gotta be careful, but uh, we really appreciate all, all that you're doing here to get Thank the you. mail out. Thank you. Um, and now Max Harris from Gardner Supply. And Max, you guys need the Postal Service, right? We sure do. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, you're great business. Thanks for coming out, and thank you so much, Congressman Welch. Uh, I've been at Gardner Supply for 23 years, and one constant has been uh, our reliance uh, on behalf of our hundreds of employee owners here in Vermont, also and now in Massachusetts and New Hampshire, of a reliable and affordable uh, U.S. Postal Service. We've had multiple challenges that are escalating and challenges throughout our business with cost of raw materials and the global supply chain. We really need our catalogs to be mailed cost effectively and to rely on them getting in home on time and as expected, especially as a seasonal business. We also ship a significant number of our actual packages to consumers from our warehouse in Milton 
and during holiday service levels from that mode of delivery were substandard and we actually shut it off and upgraded shipping at our cost and our expense to our business to make sure that we were serving our customers well. So we uh, enthusiastically support this act and appreciate all that Congressman Welch and everyone else is doing on behalf of it. Thank you. My pleasure. Yeah, no, and, and I want to thank our businesses, uh, Gardner Supply, King Arthur Flower, uh, the Vermont Country Store are three major uh, retailers that depend on the service and they're all around Vermont and provide really critical jobs. Uh, so thank you. And we did include in the Postal Reform Bill uh, a, a good rates for uh, the delivery of those catalogs that are so essential uh, for you to get the word out. And now uh, our last speaker here is the director of downtown Winooski, Meredith Bay Tayak. Thank you, Meredith. Thanks for being here. Um, as everyone else said, this is an incredibly challenging time to be a business owner and to run a business. And having a reliable postal service is just one piece of that puzzle. Um, and we are hearing from business owners that they actually, just like gardeners, sort of stepped away from USPS service, um, personally and professionally. And um, we're excited for this to move forward so that they can rely again on the U.S. Postal Service. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I want to welcome uh, Mayor Christine Lott to say a few words, but uh, you're doing a great job here. And I mean, this, com this community, Winooski, it's the best. <laughs> Come on. I would agree with that, Congressman. Um, I want to thank you for coming out and for the efforts in Congress to resolve these issues, for all of you for covering it and then for those of you who actually do this work. Um, I too have heard from constituents over the last year plus concerns about their mail delivery, um, particularly with the prescription drugs is the most concerning thing. So this is gonna be really important. We have a lot of you know, senior folks, homebound folks who really rely on this critical service. And so thank you all again for your work here. Thank you, thank you. Any, uh, any questions? Well, what I can tell you is that Senator Schumer says this is a priority because everything I've heard from Vermonters, Senator Sanders and Senator Leahy have been hearing as well. Uh, so this is a problem, and we've got a bipartisan bill, so I don't know what the Senate time is. I, none of us can predict that, but what I do know is that it's a Senate priority. And you know, it'll be really good for us in Congress to get something done that is helpful to everyday people in our local businesses. And that's important whether you're Republican or Democrat. So I have some optimism we can move on this pretty quickly. Well, thank you. Really appreciate you coming out. Thanks. <laughs>